don't even care about the bonuses. Let's just move on. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't want to have to move on to this. Hey guys, CS here, and welcome to today's Let's Play of Clockworks. Now this is an older game from 1995, developed for PC, and uh, it's a pretty cool puzzle game. It is a game of my childhood, and also I've been up for 24 hours straight without any sleep, so like a, a game about clocks is like perfect for me right now. <laughs> now this is a game made by the creator of Tetris. Alexei, uh, however you pronounce his name, <laughs> Alexei Pajitnov, in case he's actually going to watch this video, which I don't think so, but... Alright, so let's get right into the game. Uh, basically, you are a uh, clock hand, and you need to pivot on all the dots, um, collect the bonus dots which are highlighted in silver, or the ones that look shiny, um, and... Actually, I apologize in advance if the audio seems like it's laggy. I've had such issues trying to get this game to even run. This is actually a demo version of the game. Might be partially due to the way I'm capturing it, or I'm not sure, but... So basically, I have to try to avoid all the enemy hands, all the while collecting all the shiny bonus dots to get as many points as I can. And then uh, after I'm done with that, I need to get to the goal dot which is essentially that dot that's on the uh, the far right over there, and that will allow me to proceed to the next level. Now, if I touch any one of these hands, I will implode spectacularly into a burst of fire, which is, I'm sure, what everyone is looking forward to. Don't worry, you're absolutely going to see it happen, because I'm pretty terrible at controlling the uh, my clock hand most of the time. Oh, see? There we go. <laughs> that's what it looks like when you die. <laughs> in 1995 in a game involving clocks. Actually, I'm going to turn the music off just because um, it's just lagging too much and I'll, I'll go edit the music back in later. So since I died, I basically have to restart the entire level over again, which is always awesome in any game. Oh crap, oh crap, oh man. He is so close behind. The controls for this game are not as intuitive as one might think. Um, it's a little bit tricky to control your hand. Alright, good. I got just about all the bonus dots, and then we will be moving on. Oh, crap. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Luckily, he only stays on one side. And... Gold dots. Cool. Alright, we are on to the second level, called Spikes. So as you see in this level, they have added some spikes, which are stationary. And, um, god, sometimes I just completely forget which direction my hand is moving in. And, uh, that makes- that may this, this game is actually very challenging. Now, I heard this game was also released, uh, or a clone of this game is released as Spin Doctor on iOS, so some of you may be familiar with it under that name, I'm not sure. Alright, so on to level 3, Walls. So... In this game, there are, uh, well, <laughs> as you see, walls, which can halt your movement. And walls don't hurt you, you'll just bounce right off them like that. Bup, bup, bup. <laughs> now, as you get further into the game, the walls actually become destructible. And there are things like dynamite you can use to explode the walls, which honestly gets pretty cool. Ooh, this is a challenging one. Hmm, you gotta pick the right time to latch on. Uh, mm, let's try it. Boom! Oh no. <laughs> nope, that, that was not the right way to do it. 
I like how they outline tiny wall. Like, what the heck is the point of showing you that? Hmm, actually, this time I'm... Oops. Uh, let's, uh... That was... I'm gonna try this one more time, see if I can get it. Uh, it's just all about timing. Go, 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 go! Oh, crap. I hit the wrong button. I can do it. I just gotta tell myself I can do it. Uh, no, that's not the right time. I'm mm, gonna go for it. Yeah! Oh! Let's try this again. Oh. And... Boom! There we go. Okay. Whew. <laughs> just narrowly escaped that. Alright. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! <laughs> Alright, so on to level four. Ah, because of my successes so far, I've achieved the rating of Tyro. Okay. <laughs> cool, I, I guess that's, that's an achievement. Alright, so this level introduces us to switches and the opening of doors. So the red door switch activates the red door. <laughs> and we go over the blue door switch. And guess what? It activates the blue door. And I closed it again. And I opened it again. <laughs> okay, let's actually... Uh, okay, now this one is controlled by that green hand in the lower right, so I have to wait for him to go over the switch before this door is going to open again. There we go. Now I think if, if he hits the switch while I'm in between the door, uh, I'm going to get killed. So I better not play around with that. And this is the acid level. <laughs> you have to spin lightly or you'll awaken the acid puddles. <laughs> well, let's just see what happens when we do awaken an acid puddle because that's always fun. Oh, oh, oh. Now he's going to attach to the dots. And I have to make sure that my hand is not attached to whichever dot he attaches himself to. And he's going to be following me. And the more acid puddles I awaken, the more difficult it is to be able to get around. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, jeez. And then they st I forgot they start to multiply, too. Oh, man. <laughs> this is going to make it difficult to get to those bonus dots in the corner, but I'm going to try to go for it. No, I'm, I'm screwed. Nope. All right, let's try to do this right this time. Okay. Let's... Oh, oh. Uh, acid puddles are harmless as long as they are sleeping. Okay, I didn't realize that acid was something that could take a nap. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how is, like, <laughs> how, how is acid involved in clocks anyway? Like, is, I, you know, I'm, I'm not a watchmaker. I, I don't know these things, but, uh, so there must be some type of connection. I mean, come on, this guy invented Tetris for crying out loud. He must know something about clocks and acid. I like the description. Here's a combination of dangers. Just take your time. <laughs> Just take your time, and the time limit is, like, less than one minute. <laughs> Great. Okay, get on to here. Da, 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 da. Screw those other bonus dots. I need to finish. Ooh, I have achieved the rating of novice. Double thumbs up for that. So now, level seven, hypertension. So this introduces a concept of hyper dots, where... Uh, you basically will teleport from one location to another. So I got a lot down to the hyper dot, and then whoops, <laughs> I immediately uh, imploded into the wall over there on the right. So I gotta make sure I'm at a certain angle when I enter the hyper dot. Um, okay, so I gotta be from this angle. Uh, let's go. There we go. Okay, I just lit the fuse. Oop, <laughs> and I crossed back over the fuse, so I ignited myself. Lovely stuff. Uh, okay, so, gotta make sure to wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> wiggle, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh there. Giant explosion <laughs> as the bomb went off. So, uh, now I have to, let's see, I think this hyper dot, you have to actually pay attention to the marking on the hyper dot because that tells you exactly where you're going to hyper port to. <laughs> hyper port. <laughs> yeah, sure, that's a word. Okay, oh, okay, now now these are actually uh, purple wall busters, and they allow the destruction of walls around you. So I'm trying to hit them in a way in which they'll be able to, to get me out of here. Okay, so I actually, <laughs> whoops, I actually screwed that up. I, I gotta do that again, because I, I didn't hit the wall busters in the right direction. I have to hit them up. That's the only way I can get to the next area. Boom! <laughs> okay, there we go. I finally got my wall busters to bust in the appropriate direction. So now we'll be on our way to the top area. Oh, actually, mm, okay, I need them to bust a little bit more. There we go, okay. 
Now it looks like this, this blue guy is teleporting uh, between those two positions. Oh crap, need to avoid him. Ah, oh, that was close. Okay, no, but I need to fu- do- crap. Mm. Ah, gotta do it all over again. Now, this game does require a significant amount of patience, actually. Uh, a lot of the puzzles are designed to um, keep you going for like, you know, 10 minutes or more. Uh, I really have to make sure I avoid him. Uh, let's see, and also pay attention to the way in which he enters and... Hmm. Okay, I think it's safe now. Oh crap! Well, I now know the reason why they called this level hypertension, that's for sure. <laughs> It's giving me a lot of tension. Okay, so I need to enter this portal from the right side, or it's going to fail. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Ah oh, man. <laughs> you, you think this looks easy? Let's let's see you try playing this. <laughs> You're probably actually way better than me at this. Okay, I'm going to try doing this right now. Go! Oh, that was perfect timing. There we go. Gold dot. Don't even care about the bonuses. Let's just move on. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't want to have to move on to this. <laughs> Look at all this. All right, let's get started. To get started, you need to get started. You do that using an internet spider or an internet clock hand. Whichever suits your fancy. Oh jeez, oh jeez, now we have these long dots too, they're like these lines and you just kind of slide along. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> there's also bonus line dots as well, it's like <laughs> Now, I mean, I've never seen a clock with this type of pivot, I mean, come on. Whoops, uh, that was bound to happen. <laughs> it's bound to happen a few hundred more times too. Oh jeez, okay, let's, uh, what, which is the safest route? That's not it. Now I think the reason it's this difficult is because I put the difficulty on medium and there are different difficulties available. There's uh, child difficulty, easy, and medium, and hard. Now I can only imagine what hard would be like in this instance. It probably like throws everything but the kitchen sink at you, including the kitchen sink. Oh geez, and we got rotating spikes and oh my god. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. Wah, wah. You gotta be... A master pivoter for this one. Danger everywhere. <laughs> danger, danger. High voltage. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I just no okay, I just noticed there's dynamite. Duh. <laughs> Alright. I'm, I'm glad this game doesn't keep track of how many times you die as like an insult. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, that would, that would probably be higher than my score right now. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I just realized it says pass your wand over the lighter near the bottom left. Why are they calling it a wand? I'm s it's suddenly a wand and not a clock hand? Am I Harry Potter? I suddenly have a magic wand? <laughs> Don't answer. <laughs> okay, uh, oh, oh, just, just hit the wall. Oh, no, 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 okay, and oh, crap, oh, la, crap, oh, la, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Oh, okay, I'm in a good position. All right, in a good position, in a great position. But now we just have to wait for, oh, I need to keep out of harm's way. The best way to keep out of harm's way is to keep out of harm's way. And just boing, 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 back and forth. Dynamite's gonna go boom, boom. <laughs> okay, cool. So that, uh, did that help anything? Wait, oh, I only have two seconds. Well, that's it. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> Uh, I should have picked child difficulty. <laughs> I can't handle anything more than that. Oh, oh, j oh, oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, whew, I'm kind of safe. I only have 24 seconds though. Crap. How am I gonna do this? Oh, oh, stroke of luck. Yes! <laughs> that was just a stroke of luck. I wasn't paying attention to anything that I should have been. Oh, now we have all these moving dots. Jeez. And mind you, this is just the demo. The actual game gets even crazier than this. Uh, and I mean, it's... I, I, I kind of forgot how many uh, insane, like, um, permutations they made in this game. It, it's just really crazy what they came up with. All right, well, I've been playing for a good half hour now, so that's probably uh, time to... Whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at me over here. <laughs> 
Oh god, I feel like I don't have any control over what- Okay, uh, can I- uh, okay, grab onto, uh, <laughs> oh god, I can't even grab onto any dots. Help! <laughs> Out of control hand, or wand, whatever you want to call it. I can't control my wand. <laughs> Sounds like an ordinary day in the life of CS-188. Anyway, I was about to say I'm going to end this because I've been playing this for over a half hour now and I just wanted to give everybody a little sample of this game. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, this is CS signing out.